Hey guys and girls, this clip you're about to watch is something a bit different. The footage should speak for itself, but just in case, I'll do a quick rundown. For most of the day, a group of individuals wearing mainly red have been causing trouble in the city. Officer Fox get a 911 call in the area where these individuals are known to hang out. Once Officer Fox gets on scene, one of the individuals matched the description from the 911 caller, saying they attempted to rob him. Officer Fox then tried to detain the suspect for questioning. However, the suspect, along with his buddies, fled to a house close by. Dispatch M36, can you just, uh, send me additional units to that incident we were on earlier off of Brogue and uh, Davis? Correction, Brogue and Carson. Oh my god, get that down there again. They're forking head that way. Copy, it's going to be a reference to uh, people committing crimes, uh, people being described as wearing red, and uh, I have an individual here that's uh, wearing red and stuff. Uh, he's being non-compliant. Therefore, therefore responding code to. I'm 36, where's that uh, residence at? Where are we located near the car wash on Carson Avenue? Temporal. Especially if I was hearing gunshots near the fire station, northeast of Bruges Germany. Maybe a negative. I, on a, I'm unable to hear those shots. It's possible it's in reference to the ones over at San Andreas and Strawberry. Day before, if you want to move this on block traffic, I'm trying to do it for you. David, four, are you still in the rear? Negative. In the car, I'll go back to the rear once I get out. No freaking way! Then we'll go over the street sleep sweeper on this one. Day four is red. Alright, Sarge, there's going to be three individuals inside. We have a um, black crotch rocket in the garden. Are they, are they premises? Uh, tip four, I had eyes on a black crotch rocket speeding over by uh, the hospital before I came over here. It's possible there's another individual outside somewhere. Play on the vehicle is going to be 72 Bravo Oscar Union 244. Need to turn on that play. It's going to be 72. Bravo, Oscar, Union, 244. Four. Uh, 10 four, that's going to come back to the owner, registered owner of the house, when the Xavier Brooks. <laughs> Mr. Brooks is going to have nine tickets for do, us. This red charger is going to be the guy I uh, took to the hospital and sent off with the illegal firearm. Uh, 
We have 12 to go ahead and position your vehicle in the uh, parking lot of the garage. It's going to be the house on the other side of the red car from our position. Alright, all units, can you uh, 25 with me over across the street by uh, the city unit cruiser? Here's what I want. I want uh, Winterfield. I want you to be positioned here. All right. Make sure you're all using your inside voices. Go ahead, Winterfield. While you're listening, just sit right here with your carbine out, aimed at that door while we plan. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. We're gonna fucking enter. Okay. We don't need no warrant because we we're chasing it. We're pursuing a man inside the house. Okay. So we do not need a warrant at this point. Uh. Got the felony offense of fleeing and eluding. Alright, so just so you guys are aware, have any of you ever raided a house before? Negative. Alright. I have once, but it's been a while ago. Alright, so, uh, here's the deal. Um,. Nine five, go ahead. Go ahead. Bump it up. Bump uh, up uh, code two. Code two. Head down here. Head down. Head far. I'm gonna shut this ninety five. Might wanna lower your gun until we start pushing. Don't I go? I go to locals. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Good point. Yeah. We don't want to freak out the locals. All right. So what you need to do to raid the house, you have to flex your E muscle first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You have to flex your E muscle at the door, and then you can raid the house. Got it. Got it. Copy. All right. So the way it's gonna work, I'm gonna take primary. I want you two to switch over to uh, carbines, or you can use uh, handguns if you want. I'll Definitely. be the breacher. All right. So, now one thing you gotta pay in mind is when we all come in the house, we're all gonna be rushed in there together. So just mm -hmm. leave a couple seconds. The way it's gonna go is I'm gonna say, it's prepared to breach. I'll say set. Only say set after you flex your e muscle, okay? Say set when you flex your e muscle and you got the uh, the you know the little thing in your head and letting you know you can go inside the house or ready to go inside the house to do the the raid. Put my vest on before we do this as well. I guess you. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, I'm probably gonna do that too. Okay. Um, now, one thing you so you gotta keep in mind. So do a little bit of delay. So, uh, Fox, you go ahead and do secondary. You take the third there. Uh, Snow. All right. So when I say go, 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 on the third, you know, on the third go, mm -hmm. I'll go in first. Wait. You want to like wait a little second so I can get some space in there because. Problem is, we all go in at the same time, and then you guys try shooting. There's a chance you could miss, knock me in the back of the head by accident. I get you. Ten four. All right, let's vest up and uh, get ready to roll. My, uh... So here's the deal. 
don't go in you know be prepared for uh, guns right but if you you know do not fire do not fire unless they have a gun pointed at you okay Info. I'm gonna identify us. I'm gonna say Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Put your hands up. All that. The second you know you see guns, obviously shoot. But do not fire. All right. Unless it's necessary. So we must be very careful about that. Mm-hmm. will be in route. All right. Let's wait for 95 to get here. So go ahead for right now. Just us. Uh, Stage here, um, one of you, uh, yeah, perfect. We'll just wait it out, see, we'll wait for them, uh, the addition. And first 23. Alright, 95, we're gonna have David 12 across the street with our long rifle. If you can sit at the rear of the house with the long rifle, David 4, Adam 36, and myself are gonna enter the house. We confirm what we're calling rear and front. I'm over here with the uh, red vehicle. 10-4, the alleyway, the alleyway that, uh, that uh, David Ford just, Ford just came out of. We'll go to the rear of the house. It's going to be the house directly, directly, directly west, west of the red of vehicle. The Copy. Let me grab my rifle. Alright, so I'm going in the back. Swallow. Just stay over there. Alright, David Four David stack Ford up. Stack. Did you guys catch the motorbike back here? A firm, it's gonna be right through the RO of the house. Of the house. I'm gonna hide him behind the shed. Uh, all units hold the air. air. Preparing to breach. Set. Copy, I'm breaching back or holding back? Just in case things go sour and they come running out. I'll be holding my corner. Go, go, go. Shots fired. Even though this ended the way it did, everyone including myself and all the other LEOs on scene had an absolute blast. As soon as Sergeant Anderson got on scene, everyone knew their place and what the goal was. It's just a shame that the game mechanics prevented us from having a fighting chance. That being said, I feel we can take a lot of positives out of it all. We can use the situation to take a step back and look on how to improve raids for the future. Overall, I think it's a great example of you don't always have to, air quotes, win to have a great RP experience.